Now we're on question 4, January 2019, Physics Paper 2. It says, explain what is meant by the term the specific latent heat of vaporization of water. The specific latent heat of vaporization of a substance is a heat energy needed to change unit mass of the substance from liquid to gas without a change of temperature. That you need to study. You need to study all of your definitions, okay? Now, it says, calculate the heat energy required to convert 8 kilograms of water at 100 degrees Celsius to steam at 100 degrees Celsius. I usually tell my kids, start by drying. Okay? So this is the water. This is the boiling hot water. This is the mass. This is the temperature. And then this is boiling. I'm going to list it out as boiling water. And this is for 3 max. And we're going from boiling water, we're doing a, a phase change to um, steam. Okay? So I can put the notation underneath here 8 kilograms, 100 degrees Celsius, and we have steam. So latent heat is what transpired here. There is no temperature change. So I'm going to put EH equal to MLB. Calculate the heat required to convert that um, boiling water to steam. So we have the mass and we have LV. It's given down here. Specific latent, specific latent heat of vaporization of water, we have it here. So you say EH, we're just substituting for our values now. The mass is 8 kilograms. And the latent heat of vaporization is 2,300,000 joules per kilogram you could cancel them out and you're left back with the correct units and that should give us eight times two million three hundred thousand eighty million four hundred thousand right so eighty million four hundred thousand joules which would be equivalent to 18,400 kilojoules mm -hmm. at 8.4 megajoules. Mm -hmm. So you could do it like that, but we'll just keep it this way. Now it says define the pressure law. So it says for a fixed mass of gas at constant volume, the pressure is directly proportional to its absolute temperature, where you would write this notation right here, which represents everything that I just said. Okay? Good. Then it's now come on to another calculation. The initial pressure of a sample of gas is 3 pascals. The final pressure is 9 pascals. So while its volume is unchanged, so the volume is constant. If the initial, so since it's constant, it wouldn't be in the equation. Once something is all constant, you don't include it in the equation. So if the ideal temperature of a gas is 27 degrees Celsius, calculate the final temperature of the gas. So whenever you're dealing with temperature in the gas laws, when you're in gas laws itself, you have to convert the degrees Celsius to kelvins and by to do that you just add to 73 so therefore and this is for six max so you need to be careful 27 degrees celsius to kelvin will be at 273 and that gives you 300 so let's do that 273 plus 27 300 300 kelvin now what i would do is list the stuff out. If you're realizing all the calculations, I'm listing it so that I know what I have to use. So it says the initial temperature, the initial pressure of a sample of gas is 3 pascals. So we're going to say, we're going to say initial, we're going to label everything that's initial 1. So pressure 1 is 3 pascals. 
Then it says the final pressure is nine pascals. So it's a pressure two is nine pascals. While its volume remains unchanged. So we don't have anything for volume because volume is um, constant. So if the initial temperature of the gas is 27 degrees, which translates to uh, 300 kelvins, it's a T1 equal to 300 kelvins. Then T2 says calculate the final temperature, which is T2. So T2 is equal to X. Using the equation P1 over T1 equal P2 over T2, we substitute. But first, let's transpose. We need to put T1 in the numerator. So we're going to move it up here. So we're going to have P1 T2 over T1 equal to P2. Now we need to get rid of these friends. Since this is being divided, you have to multiply. So you're going to multiply it, T1, and multiply T1 here. And if this is being multiplied here, P, we're going to divide it. So we're going to divide by P1, and we're dividing by P1. So the cancel out, we're left with T2 equals to P2, T1 over P1. Substituting our values, what is P2? 9 pascals, T1. 300 kelvins and P1 <coughs> 3 pascals okay and now we are left with 900 kelvins I hope this helped you see you around for question number 5 we're soon finished